Sorry, you must be waiting for some time today. Nobody has come. Uh, Pooja. Anyway, you, you give us one budget. Sure. Prabhu Ganapati Paripurana Varvarulvaye Prabhu Ganapati Paripurana Varvarulvaye Prabhu Ganapati 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 Sharda Varnangi to the Pani Yadi Yunda Sunny the Sharanadi Domi Sharda Varnangi to the Pani Yadi Yunda Sunny the Sharanadi Domi Shanta Siddha Sobhank Yangar Yavayum Thunderul Sakuru Niye Shanta Siddha Sobhank Yangar Yavayum Tandarul sad guru ni ye prabhu ganapati paripurana varvarul va ye prabhu ganapati 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 adi mula gaja gananada gajanana arpuda davala swarupa Adi Mula Ganana, the Gajanana, Arpuda the Vardas Varupa. Deva Deva Jaya Vijaya Vikayaka, Chinmaya Parashiva Deepa. Deva Deva Jaya Vijaya Vikayaka, Chinmaya Parashiva Deepa. Chinmaya Parashiva Deepa, Prabhu. Ganapati Paripurana Varvarulvai Prabhu Ganapati 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 Harium. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Ganapati made it possible at last. Yeah. Sahanam <laughs> Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Reva Param Brahma Tatnayin Sri Naurave Vasudeva Sukham Devam Tamsachamura Maktam Devaki Paramahandam Krishnam Deva Dattu Samastha Janakalyami Viratam Karunamani Namami Timayam Brindam, So last class, we saw that the whole world, one of the, one of the, the topmost motivation factor is love. He, he may love himself, his body, his family, but people live because because they get some love somewhere. And on enquiry you find, you love things because they are your own self. And you, 
are the source of maximum happiness because whatever you love, that gives you happiness. You love most because you get the maximum happiness from yourself. So therefore, this has to be known because all of us want happiness. All of us want security. And that's all you. But today it is not known to you. It's covered by several factors. Non-essential expressions of your own self. All those things that are covering this self are the thoughts that you want this self not knowing it is here. I want happiness, thoughts. I want security, thoughts. I want money, thoughts. All of them are here. All of them. Are. These thoughts cover this. These thoughts cover this. Now you have to know this beyond the thoughts. Whatever Upanishad you read, whatever Gita you read, this is all the essence. Whatever you are seeking is yourself. Tattva Masi. Tattva Masi. Whatever you are seeking is yourself. So that has to be known. That has to be known. So that was what the last class. Today is giving. You, you, I don't, you must remember the first two chapters are called Madhu Kanda. Madhu means honey. We'll explain what it is. The first two chapters are Madhu Kanda or Upanishads. Upanishads called Upadesha. The next two chapters are reflections on this Upanisha, Upadesha. Therefore, reflection is Manana. Manana is done by Muni, therefore Muni Kanda, and also Yagna Valkya Kanda. The last two chapters is trying to experience that Kila Kanda. If you see these three things, again, first two, Upadesha is Revana, Manana, Nidhikyasa. Nidhikyasa. So, the last all, all, uh, chapter of this Madhukanda is where that word Madhu comes out. I will take the text, but before that, you must understand the essence of that. It starts saying, Hadi is Madhu to beings. Beings are madhu to honey. Madhu means dear, sweet, food. Dear, sweet, food. Earth is sweet and dear to people because it allows you to stand. All that you want comes only from the earth. Food, minerals, everything comes from only the earth. And therefore, earth is dear to you. You are dear to earth because ultimately you join, you, you join there. So, earth is dear to beings. Beings are dear to earth. When there is such mutual harmony, mutual need, one catering to the other, there should be a third entity. We'll see through an example. This example, you must meditate because this seems to be a simple example but conveys everything. This bulb, without electricity, cannot give you light. This bulb doesn't have the light. Electricity, without the bulb, cannot give light. So electricity also doesn't have light. Bulb also doesn't have light. But both together give you light. So both are serving the cause of light. 
Light for whom? Neither for electricity nor for the bulb. It's for you and me. Because electricity is created by you and me. Bulb is created by you and me. Therefore, the mutually feeding things where they are, they serve a common cause you. They serve a common cause you. You created the bulb. You, you created the energy, electricity, and they together bless you. You are the cause. You are the cause. Now, bulb is not there. Is electricity or light? Can it give only light? No, you put heater, it gives you heat. You put pan, it gives you breeze. So electricity is neither breeze nor light, nor heat, it in association with whatever it comes, that it blesses. That it blesses. Right? So this whole world is subject-object relationship. The object caters to the subject. It is the subject that who creates the object. If the subject is not there, there is no object. Work mutually dependent. If that is so, if, now let us go to the same example of earth and being. This bulb you created, this electricity you created, it is blessing you. You are the cause. Now, earth is blessing you. You are ultimately catering to the earth. No, you, you cannot be the cause of earth or your own being. There has to be somebody else who is the cause of earth and you. Like the bulb and the this thing. You can say creator, Brahma. Brahma himself is created. Brahma himself is created. Right? So who created Brahma? Total mind, intellect. Where from it has come? Bhagavan. Okay. So here, Everything is mutually dependent, serving a third cause. So Bhagavan also is serving somebody. Is he creating for something else? Will he get something out of it? No. He is the uncaused cause. These are all caused causes. Electricity is the cause of light. Bulb is the cause of light. Brahma is the cause of the world total mind, but Bhagavan Brahman is not a cause of any, not a cause nor an effect of anything. He is there. In him all potentialities are there. He is alone. What will he do? He wants to enjoy. All the potentialities he brings out and that is creation. The first thing he brings out is the creativity in him, which is called Brahma. And for that, you need the thoughts. That's also in him. That's also in him. Now you were a dream. You were a dream. The dream characters. The dream characters mutually serve each other. Mutually serve each other. And they together serve you to exhaust your vasanas. So who created your dream? You only create. You are the cause. Now, if you know this, subtle thing, my dream enemy, my dream friend, my dream enemy, my dream friend, my dream enemy murders several people, my friend helps several people. After getting up, do you give reward to the Dream any friend and punishment to dream enemy. Because it's all you. 
so also when bhagwan has brought out in this it's only he you don't punish any you don't reward any so you can't say why did god me made me like this because it is only he dreaming voluntarily dreaming to be a friend and an enemy in your case you, you are not conscious of dreaming in his case he is consciously dreaming so your case is called maya his case is called leela because he knows and plays this much when you know where is the world if there is no world where are your problems where are your problems so therefore this chapter is called madhu vidya madhu brahmana madhu brahmana if you meditate on that you will get all solutions because it says it concludes actually the conclusion is the beginning of this chapter it concludes bhagwan rupam rupam babu wa he became different forms he becomes the animate inanimate insects animals human being he himself formed those names and then entered into it entered into it is not real as though entered into it as though your dream you have as though you entered into it the mud as though you entered into a pot as though you entered into it that is the last thing that gent mahar uh, rishi gives the secret to ashwini kumaras that is the basis of this that's called madhu vidya he gives those two shlokas of the gent maharaj last before that he gives all the lot right so now let us see see the topic is so certain after you read you don't do a read at home nothing will stay because it's a very certain topic you have to read think and make it yours now if you read on your own you will not get the essence because it's a subtle topic it need communication between person to person the person who talks tries to touch that which is beyond words in you and ignites and you try to feel that beyond words without mutual personal listening merely reading it will not give you the essence you need somebody to guide you to give the tip and to listen that's also not an you have quantum and you say i don't have time you want us you you never read you open the tv nothing but problems oh somebody is problem why are you exempt from any problem anything can come to you any second anything can come to you any second right nobody is exempt whether they come or not your mind is on that worry this can solution what else is more important to you than to say i don't have time what else is more important to say i don't have time it's like somebody who was left blindfolded in a forest he is running hither and there somebody said remove that bandage and you can see the direction go no no i have no time if i have no time to remove the bandage the every day as the facilities are increasing as the world is improving inversely proportional is our security and peace today unbelievable challenges which you never heard of 
what security you have, sir, to, to wait and, uh, and uh, one negative thing with these improvements is everybody is living beyond 90. That's another uh, problem. Everybody is living beyond 90. So if you don't get this, say I have no time. Even God can't help. Let, let me read this. ृतमृतमृतम Idam Amritam, Idam Brahma, Idam Sarvam. This earth is like honey to beings. Means food also you can take. Food at different levels. Beings are honey to air. But whom are they serving? They are emanating from the same cause. I am Purusha. This Purusha. This Purusha. Kejo Mayaha. Conscious, enlightening, knowledge. That Purusha, who is also Amrita Mayaha, immortal. This is the essence of here, because without that, in the form of existence, without that in, in you and me, neither the earth will be there nor you will be Nor you will be there. Why in earth only in the form of a... Here you see light. In the earth you don't see light. In the earth you don't see light. It's not that their only existence is there. There also all the three are there. But you can only feel in the earth existence. Like fire. In water you can only feel the heat. Fire in a lamp, you can see the light. Fire in wood, you can see the light, you can feel the heat, you can see the form too. You can see the form too. Fire being the same, according to the equipment, it manifests its nature. So, also, this Amrutamaya, this Amruta Maya, Purushaha, is there in everything and he is the essence of everything. He is the essence of everything. He manifests in certain medium as existence, in certain others as existence and awareness, and in certain others existence and awareness and dhanamdhan. Swamiji gives these four levels of consciousness in kindle life. Tone, only existence. Plants, existence and little awareness. Animals, existence and awareness. Only in human beings, existence, awareness and happiness. Right? So that is the cause. From that, everything rises. World rises from that. Where does your world rise? In sleep, where is the world? In sleep, your world is not there. After you get up, mind comes, the world comes. That's so. Total mind is Brahmaji. He is the creator. Creation takes place with the mind. Your world comes with the mind. Brahmaji is total mind, total world. Right, comes from this Atman, stays here, goes into the Therefore, from what they come, 
where they stay, unto which they go, that is their ultimate ultimate dimension. That is their ultimate dimension. Right? Because these four are common everywhere. These four factors, this subject object, they interchange. Beings and yeah, subject object, they interchange. But in and through them, this Amruta Mayaha, Pyojo Mayaha, the brilliant, the immortal, Chittan Ananda. Chittan Ananda is there that you have to discover. What is the common factor that you have to discover? Why? Because we said earlier, that is what gives you happiness. Na jaya e kamaya jaya priyam bhavati na patyup kamaya patyup priyam bhavati atmanastu kamaya sarvam priyam bhavati What is that atma you have to do? How can I do? I am giving you examples. He says, I am giving you the examples. Try to find out what is common in earth, what is common in being. What is common in earth, what is common in being. You may not go beyond their level. At least you can find their existence is the common factor. Existence is the common factor. Try to tune to that existence and know that be the cause of all. Brahman. That's why he says that. And then he says, Idam Amrutam. That which is there in both. This is the core. Atma means core, essence. Idam Amrutam, that is immortal. Idam Brahma, that is the most glorious and biggest. Idam Sarvam, that's all. Why do you need 11 Upanishads? In fact, there are 200, 108 recognized. 11 Upanishads are commented by uh, Acharya. Why do you need? Why do you need even entire Rudharinika? This one verse is enough. This one verse is enough if you contemplate. You don't need all the books. One verse is enough. And then how do you discover what is the core? Remove what all uh, Differences are there. What cannot be removed? What stays is the essence. This Devadatta is that Devadatta. Well, Gurudev, whereas this Gupta is that Gupta. That is, he told his wife, lot about Gupta. Lot about Gupta, his classmate. Right? And after 20 years, they meet him as an IAS officer in Delhi, chief secretary. So he's telling his wife, you know, the Gupta used to talk, both of us used to cut classes and go to cinema, right? That Gupta, from whom I used to borrow, he used to borrow from me, right? You know that Gupta, who used to be a tennis player? You know that Gupta, who comes from backward family? That Gupta is this Gupta Chief Secretary. That Gupta in Delhi is this Gupta in... Uh, uh, sorry. This Gup that Gupta in Chennai is this Gupta in Delhi. Remove Chennai, Delhi. Remove cinema, school, college, cutting the classes, and see the Chief Secretary. Remove borrowing from each other. What is left is the common Gupta. What, when you remove all, what remains is the Gupta. Similarly, in all of us, the body we can remove, mind we can remove, intellect we can remove. What remains is the witness. That also will go. What remains is the Sat Sit Ananda. Shantam Shivam Advaitam Chatur. Similarly, you have to do in everything. This is called Bhaga Tyaga Lakshana. Bhaga portion. Tyaga leading. Lakshana through which it reveals. 
half you remove variables and try to identify with that which doesn't vary and constant is also called anvaya vetrika nyaya anvaya when all are there it is there when all are not there also it is there when my dream waking is there also this sleep is there i am there consciousness when dream waking sleep is not there also i am there that which is there when everything is there that which is there even when nothing is there that is the essence this called bhaga yaga lakshan no he gives 20 examples same thing atha apaha sarveshanam bhutam maduhu asa mapam sarvane bhutane maduhu yascha ayam asku apsu tejo mayo amrutamaya purushah apaha maduhu for beings beings are madhu to apa right and same logic 20 examples we don't have to do all of it, right and now he concludes this in that how the one becomes many how the one alone becomes many your dream character you are the one how do how do they become many you create a different forms in your dream different the enemy and several things and you entered into that and in reality you have not even entered it appears as though you have entered so bhagavatam says pravish apravishtah pravishtavat apravishtah not entered but pravishtavat as though entered right so here how how does this multiplicity come and what is the common factor why should you know it how do you know it everything is finished in one and a half shlokas by that gent to see to ashwini kumaras the story is there you can read it that's not important pur puras chakre dupadah puras chakre chatishpadah puras sapakshi bhutva purakta purushah avishyate made having made the form that's called puri city because somebody rules it, the atman rules puras chakre dupadah the two legged ones human being puras chakre chatushpadah animals four legged puras puras pakshi those fly bhutva puram purusha avishyate in these various cities the purusha enters why is he called purusha sava ayam purusha sarva purushu purishaya he 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 fills up everything therefore he is called purusha he dwells in all he fills up everything na ye na ne na kinchi nana kin kincha nana bhutam naine na kincha nasam bhutam there is nothing that is not covered by him nana nana avrutam avrutam means covered envelope there is nothing that's not covered by him kincha na asam bhutam so asam samvrutam also same meaning avrutam covering samvrutam parmiyati the mud covers the parts the mud parmiyates the parts and then that what he said there makes it simpler in the next verse rupam rupam pratirupo bhuva he became different forms tadasya rupam pratyakshanaya why did he make so many forms how do you how else will you see god without a form how will you see air without a balloon or your body how will you see water without a container how will you see space without these walls anything subtle to see you need a container a conditioning bhagwan out of his compassion you have come away from him you should know him you should see him therefore he made so many forms for you to see him the forms are for you to see indro maya bihi prarupa yate yukta hasya haraya 
अयमात्मा ब्रह्म is the organs is he he 10 and thousands and many and infinite all variety is he only that brahman without prior or posterior there is nothing before him there is nothing after him without and interior neither outside nor inside this self the perceiver of everything is brahman i am atma brahma sarvam mahi ityo anushasanam perceiver that is seer and seen whatever is seen you can dismiss the seer you cannot dismiss what remains as that which cannot be dismissed in any experience is the seer is you you can dismiss the entire objects you can't dismiss the seer. and that is so that is madhuriya and after this atha vamsha prati vanshavali that's one of the requisites in puranas and these things just to give the rishi these things we don't have any subject in that you can skip six now the third listing uh, that is one and two upadesha the same thing has to be given for manana reflection so the third and fourth is for manana the same thing through different examples for reflection so in that there is a story there is people are invited by janaka often giving uh, precious gifts because he values knowledge more than anything else a yeah, story will come here after he gets complete satisfaction he says all my kingdom including me i am your slave take me take me. because nothing is worth including me then right? you can take because nothing can be compared to that vidya so therefore janaka calls often this time he called and said whoever is the best here there are several pandits they can take all these cows in those days money is in the form of cows money is in the form of cows and in each cow 10 gold coins are tied it's not that a mere cow 10 gold coins 10 sovereigns you know what it is right so he says you can take all these thousands of cows so everybody kept quiet because they 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 are not sure whether they are the best yagna would have called his students come on drive these cows and people asked are you the best here how dare you say take the cows He in humility said, "I am not the best, but I want the cows. None of you came, so I asked them to take. Right? They challenged him. Are you the best? He says, 'I am not the best.' Then why are you taking? None of you came. I want them, so I asked my students to take. Then they start questioning. The first question is, Ash, Ashwala." Everything in this world is covered by death. Sarvam मृत्युनाथम मृत्यु mukti and ati mukti so everything is covered by death by what means then you can reach the immortality everything is covered by death whatever means you are going to seek that also is mortal how will you reach sutra sutra pija agnina vaka what way agnasya hota tad tad yeyam vak soyam agni होता 
the preceding deity of the fire, of the speech is fire. And then the Gota, you invoke as the fire. Now, as I said, Bhagat Yaga lecture, drop the differences. The organ of speech, fire, Gota is fire. Drop them, fire. This organ of speech is inert, dead. And the Gota is also body, dead. But fire is relatively immortal, it's a deva. It's a relatively immortal deva. So you reach that. Right? Next example is Advargu. In the Ignya, you remember this. There are four trees sitting. One is called a Kota, who, uh, who offers, right? Goes. And the other is called Advargu. He chants Yajurveda. Opposite to the Hota is Udkita. He chants as Samaveda. The next one, fourth one is Brahma. He doesn't do anything. He only says Tadastu, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So these are the four priests. One is Hota, Advaryu, Udgita, Brahma. So first Hota, then Advaryu we ask. Advaryu. Same question is asked. All this is pervaded by, all this is pervaded by day and night. In the earlier thing, all pervaded by Mrityu. Here, all pervaded by day and night. Means the same, time. Time is death. Means the same, in different ways to understand. So, everything is pervaded by day and night. How will you reach that which is beyond day and night? That which is beyond day and night. He says, I is the sun. Advaryu is the sun. Invo. Drop I and Advaryu. What remains is sun. Sun is a devata. Sun is a deva. So, relative uh, upgrading yourself from inert matter to Daivamsa. Right? Next is Udgita. Everything is the two Pachas. Sukla Pacha and Krishna Pacha. Sukla Pacha and Krishna Pacha. If that is so, they mutually cancel each other. How will you reach immortal? How will you reach him? through prana? Because Krishna Pacha, Shukla Pacha are created by moon. Moon is essentially prana. Why your, your no science says sun is nothing but helium. And moon is nothing but that which draws everything from the sun. It's air. Moon is air. Udgita. Udgita invoke as moon. And then uh, the Well, air, air we breathe, air we breathe, right, is air, that divine air. The air we breathe is that divine air. And here, the Buddha is also, you invoke air. Both, you drop this stola, what remains is the Daivamsha. Similarly, Brahman, Brahman is mind. Brahman is mind, through mind only you can read Brahman. And then, after that, he gives, after that, he gives different mantras, some mantras, some pourings, make the flames come up. Some die down, some in the middle. So, with reference to that, what do they do? He says, preliminary oblations, preliminary sacrificial 
elogistic things. What does what do you gain by that? Living. You will only gain by living. Adhar Guru. Blazer, broads, great noise, names, those sink lawyer. Through all these various things, you only get a living. Brahma, one mind, infinite world, he wins. Kotru wins the worlds. Adhuryu wins according to each. That is, Kotru according to the preliminary operations and sacrificial elogistic of things. He gains. Anyway, doesn't matter. Nothing is important there, right? He gains different uh, uh, finite things. Other you also same thing. So, how many classes Udgyotra, how many uh, classes here? To here, he be preliminary, he wins Brahma, through sky, Apana, Vyana, not important. All that it means to say is, these are also finite. And then the third one is Graha and Adigraha. Graha is the senses. Adigraha are sense objects. Graha and Adigraha. Eyes, Graha. Forms, Adigraha. Ears, sound. Ears, Graha. Adigraha, sound. Nose. Prana, nose, graha, smell, atigraha. These grahas and atigrahas, they are also mutually cancelling. They are also fine. These are all the things that you have to go beyond that. Go beyond that. So the whole subject matter is this. Right? And then comes little Vedanta in the next two. This, 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 their uh, good topics, Vedanta comes. We will see next week uh, because I had to go. Also, no, uh, this thing, this, I'm completely sweating from here. I'm going to be a man, married. Right? So, and I'm going to talk Yeah. So, we, okay, it's, it's all right. All sadhana, not Naraya. Purum Purnamada, Purnamadam, Purna, Purna Mudachate, Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purna Meva, Vasikshati, Purusham, Isham, Ishanti, Hari Hum, Sri Guru Shunam, Hari Hum. Om Shri Chinmaya Satgurave.